Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. We return with Lara Croft to continue her adventures in becoming the Tomb Raider we all know and love. I have no idea what's going to happen to this game beyond the fact I know there's a bear in this one, and that's all I know. So, well, let's uh, jump in and find out what trouble our Lara Croft decides to get herself into this time round. Let's go. Ooh, combat difficulty. Adventurer, no. Tomb Raider, a good balance of difficulty. Combat is aim assistance disabled. That's not a problem. Enemies have normal health and damage. What seasoned raider, considering we played through the first one? Combat has aim assistance disabled. Health regeneration is only available outside of combat. Enemies have increased health and damage. Enemies have increased senses. Let's give that one a go. I don't fancy try and survivor an extreme survivor. Push your survival limits to the test. <laughs> Health regen disabled. We'll go with seasoned raider. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. Two spiky things now. You're almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. Thanks. Look at that. It's amazing. But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. You know... This wind is crazy! We just need to keep moving. This game does not encourage those with... fears of falling. Hey! Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Oh, there it is. Shit. You okay? Lost my footing. I'm fine. Damn, Laura needs to some meat. Oh, there it is. Ah! Ah! No. Damn. That was close. <sighs> Laura, are you all right? Jonah, I'm here. I'll climb down there and get you. No! It's too dangerous! I can climb back up! Are you sure? Just stay put! So that's Jonah from the first game. He's got himself a, a bit of a beard and a full head of hair this time around. Man alive. 
This is insane. Why would you do this? So glad the keys haven't changed much since the first one. I need to jump across. Yeah. Okay. Now grab my hand. There it is. Shit, Lara. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Actually, there is one thing I do need to do, which I haven't done, which I'm gonna do now. Hopefully I can. Key bindings. Haha. <laughs> Is there melee in this game? There is, and I want to bind it to mouse button five. Thank you very much. Oh. And let us continue on this mad trip. Looks like you gotta go through. You gotta go through the cave. Not bad. If the weather turns, we can hole up in this cave. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know this is a long shot, but that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Well, I guess if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I do it. <laughs> I'll go agree with you there, Jonah. I just hope Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. I mean, I gotta say, right? If you built a city way up here, trade's gonna be a bitch. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just as last stretch to the top. All right, let's see what's up there. <sighs> Feels pretty solid here, but keep close to the wall. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. <laughs> keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right, you ready? Let's do it. There we go. Come on, Jonah, old buddy. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Right. Look out! Oh! Oh shit! That was close. You know. I probably would have used someone a little bit stronger, but hey, that, you know, that works. Man, this is so cool and terrifying all at the same time. How is that possible? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back up. 
Better hold my ass. Oh. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Get off the ledge. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, Damn. Go back, Jonah. Get the shelter. What is this? What is this? This game is not taking prisoners. Oh god, oh god, quick, get to the plane. Oh, that moving snow ain't no good. <laughs> Run. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah! Oh shit! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Lara, I'm not kidding. Run, run faster. Run faster, Lara. Ah! Oh, this is intense. tried so hard and we got so far <laughs> Whew, that was intense two weeks earlier oh, welcome to London England Good old blighty. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. A lot of subtle touches with the crew of the Endurance. Hello. We're in your flat, love.
Hannah! Oh, God! I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. We're going somewhere a little warmer than where we started. Quite a bit warmer, in fact. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you! You both! Damn! Damn! This road! Shit! They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! Yeah. No! No! no. That's where greed gets you, folks. Brain damage, Lara. Jeez. Welcome to the Northwest no Border. Turning back. It has to be here. The Northwest Border of Syria. Search for the ruins and the cliffs. You're looking a little dazed there, kiddo. Ah, there is a pathway. Let us go. Oh. Easy there, sport. Just add Ooh. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Yeah, so, we gotta find this prophet. I've gotta say, this game immediately feels a lot smoother than the first one. They definitely did up their game when they created this. Something's here. Ooh, we can walk more carefully. Hello. Hello. 
first treasure. A religious icon. Detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It fits with the legend of the prophet. Oh, uh, you know what? They've got the rotations on this much smoother. One of my biggest gripes with the first game was literally the minute you tried to rotate one of the treasures, it would like spin 360 degrees. Uh, crazy. Still, nice bit of uh, nice bit of history there. No additional information for that piece, and there wasn't a price tag on it. Nah. Could this really be it? Well, I'd certainly hope so, after all this horrible stuff that you've just gone through to get here, Lara. Well, saying that, you know, we've just been shot up by a blooming attack helicopter. Incredible. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word. That little chime. Press Q to activate survival instincts. So we've got a couple of bits, uh, pieces of interesting interest here. So let's have a look over here then. Ooh, These translate. are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Okay, so we have to read murals to increase language skills. Alrighty. I doubt I'm going to find all of these. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mentioned this. Ah, language in Greek skills is increasing slowly. Was there anything else? Ah, we can actually... Interact mm, with this. Some sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out. Oh, we've got to advance her Greek skill. It's the Prophet. Speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we ha now have a level one translation skill in Greek. Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. Ooh. Reading the past. Press tab to enter the map, apparently. Ah, mark any map item with a player beacon. Player beacons appear in world as a blue shaft of light when using survival instincts. So that's Lara. Okay. Hello. Ancient coins can be traded for upgrades and equipment. Any other goodies around here? I guess not. Hmm. Map legend. Cats, bears, boars, deer, wolves. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, hello. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. I've got a little more XP in Greek. Oh. Alrighty. The secret entrance. Ha! 
Hardly a secret anymore. Wow. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. Well, to be fair, you know, all this danger and whatever may have its little perks if you get to see amazing little sights like that, that's for sure. Well, cute object beacon highlighted in the survival instincts. Okay, so that's basically telling us that bit of information. That's pretty much the same as before. Nope. First death. Get in. Lara, you were supposed to jump up, you plum. Why did you go across? Oh dear. Here. Got to get inside. Well, it's a little unfair that we had to get here the hard way, but they just get to fly on in. Oh. Seems a little cheap if you ask me. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> they don't build them like they used to. Good thing too, eh? No, okay, yeah, that is the way I want to go. Ah, uh, Up we go. Right, the Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Ah, there we go. Scorpions, man. A way through. Dark, spud web strewn passages. Yeah. Makes a pretty good home, I'd say. Damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. <sighs> <sighs> Damn you, game. Oh, uh, uh, God. Uh, uh. Oh, that just went in that skeleton's mouth. Oh. Blech. Trinity. Right, well. <laughs> We've made it into this tomb thus far. It's been pretty eerie getting here, but we shall hold it there for now. Wow, I can't wait to explore the rest of this tomb. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all again in the next installment of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Bye-bye.